Well, mate, I don't want Indigenous Voices in Mackay Council. I don't want to be crafting motions about the Israel-Palestine issue. Uh, I don't want to be doing any of that rubbish. I mean, it, it simply is rubbish. And what councils need to focus on is collecting the rubbish right, mowing the grass right, getting the potholes filled and the roads done right, and reducing the rates burden because cost of living is hurting people. That's what they should be focused on. None of this other crap. I'm here today with a very special guest, a former member of parliament for the Liberal Party, but we won't hold that against him, George Christensen. I'm here today to talk to you because you've got some exciting news, I guess. Well, I do. It was uh, the National Party, not the Liberals. So oh. it's a little bit of a little, little bit of a uh, uh, thankful snare. It wasn't the Liberals, but uh, even then I left. Fact check me in real life. <laughs> there we go. I left the One Nation anyway, mate, so I saw the light. But uh, look, um, I'm now running for local government up in Mackay, Mackay Regional Council. The local government elections are on throughout Queensland uh, next weekend. So uh, yeah, that's going to be an interesting experience. It's going back to the past for me because um, I was a local government councillor in uh, 2004. I was elected in 2008 before I went to on to serve in federal parliament in 2010. Why? Why are you doing it again? You got out? Yeah, look, uh, I, I can say people approached me uh, about half a year ago about this and um, I, I knocked them back actually a few times. Um, but they were persistent, they wanted me as part of their team. And the more and more I began to think about it, the more and more I thought, well, I've got something still to contribute. As long as there are issues to fight for locally, uh, I've got interest and there are issues to fight for. I mean, the one big thing we're running on is a pretty conservative sort of platform of, of reducing rates by getting a, a control on the expenditure of council because a lot of it's gone beyond basic services now, Avi, and in fact there's a lot of woke that's happening in local governments right around Australia and Mackay Regional Council isn't unaffected by that. Well, I don't think only around Australia. I think we're seeing this phenomenon around the world where councils have become kind of the battleground for the culture wars. Yeah. So are you looking to take that fight on as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, look, <laughs> and this wasn't one that, uh, you know, I, I wanted to, to get into because I, you know, when I first uh, looked at it, I thought, well, there probably isn't too much of that in Mackay. But then we found out that in September this year, the uh, Mackay ratepayer funded uh, entertainment centre is putting on a drag queen dance event for kids as young as four. I mean, what is local government doing? putting that sort of stuff on. I mean, you know, fine if you want to go and see a drag queen, go to an adult club, but not for kids as young as four, are we? And like, you know, I've had people come to me showing me books that the local library is populated with for kids that are completely and utterly inappropriate. I mean, stuff that borders on pedophilia almost, and uh, that needs to be flushed out as well. So there's a lot of problems there in that cultural space, I guess. Um, not let, needless to say, is the constant, constant uh, welcome to country stuff that just goes on local government. I mean, we had this referendum on The Voice. It was the first time the Australian people got a say, really, on the whole um, Aboriginal affairs matter. And I think that there was a massive rejection of what the elite want when it comes to Aboriginal affairs. But yet, that's all just been ignored and swept under the carpet. And we carry on as if, oh no, that didn't happen. Um, in fact, you know, uh, there's now proposals of voices to councils uh, uh, that I've just heard about, and that is insane, you know, so... So you're not going to follow the Melbourne City Council by implementing an Indigenous voice to Mackay Council? No, no, mate. And it, look, councils need to get out of all of that rubbish. Uh, they really do. Sound like a white supremacist. You don't want an Indigenous <laughs> voice to Mackay Council. Well, mate, I don't want Indigenous voices to Mackay Council. I don't want to be crafting motions about the Israel-Palestine issue. Uh, I don't want to be doing any of that rubbish. I mean, it, it simply is rubbish. And what councils need to focus on is collecting the rubbish right, mowing the grass right, getting the potholes filled and the roads done right, and reducing the rates burden because cost of living is hurting people. That's what they should be focused on. None of this other crap. And it is all crap. <laughs> Let me play devil's advocate. There would be many people saying that the council's job is roads, rates and rubbish. Mm -hmm. And rubbish certainly falls into... <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of rubbish, mate. A lot of rubbish. It's the wrong sort of rubbish. And, you know, this is not just me saying it. Actually, when I'm standing on the... Early voting's already been on for a week, right? And I stand on the booths and people come up to me and say, uh, 
what are you going to do about all the woke crap, you know? And you immediately know that this is a hot issue. People are aware of it. So um, they want it gone, I want it gone, and if I get a chance to get into council, I'll make it gone. And uh, you're going to win? Well, uh, look, I, I'm... Don't be uh, humble. I, 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 well, I am going to be because I don't know. When you're in a campaign, you're always uh, so close to the fire, you can't gauge the, temp the temperature. Um, you know, I'm not uh, completely silly to think that I'm just going to be a walk-up start. I mean, uh, when you've been in a public life for the better part of 20 years in that region as I have, um, you know, you say things, you do things, uh, and a bit of support peels off here and there on various issues. You know that, Avi, uh, uh, even, you know, you've had people who supported you on this issue and don't on others, so uh, that's life. And so it remains to be seen. I think I've got a pretty good chance. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens uh, on Saturday. To the local voter that actually has the ability to put you into office, that's unsure, what yes. would you say to them? Well, I'll say two things uh, that I'm going to de wokeify Mackay Regional Council and we're going to lower rates by focusing on basic services once again. Make Mackay great again. That's it. Thank you, brother. If you think it's important to de wokeify local city councils, make sure to like, comment, but most importantly, share this far and wide so hopefully when George Christensen win wins on the weekend, it empowers many others around the nation and then head over to followavi.com make sure to subscribe to the mailing list and follow me across all socials just in case they fight back by banning videos with people like george christensen followavi.com across all socials don't let them censor it